Hello everyone, it's Saturday here, and welcome to a new mod pack that I'm doing on Enigmatica 6. Yes, I said 6. As you recall, I do play with an eye tracker, and the mod was basically stuck in 1.14.4. And now the mod that works with the eye tracker got updated to 1.16.5. So that's exciting, right? Come out camera. Watch me get shot by a skeleton, probably. But let's switch the cameras. So as you can see, I found this house, and I definitely did not build this house, but let's see here. As you can see, I have this uh, diamond sword already. And how is this possible? This is the first episode. I basically did all the boring things, some mining, some exploring, and, well, I found a boss somewhere. I basically died, like, 25 times, a rough, rough estimate, and I got... This diamond sword and some diamond pants. So, we also found this broken portal, which didn't really have anything useful in it. Well, flint is actually pretty useful for this uh, mod that is new for. 116, but it was pretty much stuck in uh 112.2. So that's pretty cool that that mod got ported. Remind that? No, we can't. So, yeah, we will be doing some thermal things, but I want to open this um quest book with you because we do get a lot of things accepting different uh quests and getting all these items like tools and wrenches books for different mods so let's go up here um we can go one higher or just go down and with this uh, storage here. Got furnaces, got this um, crafting station, which, if you're unaware, connects to different uh, storage or whatever has an inventory. You can see it while you're in the crafting station. So there are barrels all across the perimeter of this house. So that's a good amount of storage early on. But this crafting station is super nice. Because you get to see attached inventories without opening each and every single uh, inventory. For example, we got block of gold from that um, Broken portal, and also, if you don't know, in this kind of house that you see, it has all sorts of things the hay bales, um, chests. There's like four chests here, and there was a gold block somewhere in here. Um, there's some melons, there's some hay bales, and there's also another chest right here, and I opened that, got 
that gold. So let's go back down here and open all of these uh, quests. Quest book. Okay. So you can pause yeah, in a moment to read any of these screens like this. I'll let you read that. Alright, that was a lot of things. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. Just from accepting all the different quests. It's pretty crazy. I gotta say. And we also get that uh, pretty good backpack. I gotta say. Um, let's see, can we access? A barrel just to insert things right away. Just like that. Let's see here, this one too. Can we access that from here? Like that. Uh, it's pretty full. Okay, so where the pines were today. As you can see here, I added. um. A lot of different things from thermal. So we do need a bunch of redstone and and uh, copper, tin, a lot of different things. So copper, uh, flint, redstone, making pistons. So let me let me get these things ready for you guys, and I'll be back. So I'm bringing you back. Because I found my favorite item in the game. I mean, it's crazy how OP this is. I mean, look, look, I'm just, I'm just mining pumpkins with a freaking book. And look how quick it is, too. And this is just the lowest tier. And I also brought you in because, um, well, we are level 38, as, as you can see. Uh, you, um, just accept all these, uh, introductory quests. You get a lot of levels. So, as a big benefit of, uh, getting a lot of levels is that check this out trinkets from the artifacts mode so if you have a certain amount of levels you can keep unlocking different level or available trinkets okay look i can which is lovely that's one thing uh provide you with uh 
Frost Walker, which it's not that good, but you can look at this. The Magneto, which looks like a magnet. So let's look at this. See how it works. And you know what? Let's unlock this one. The more levels that you unlock, I mean, the more uh, trinkets you unlock here. Well, it was 25. This was 20 to unlock. We get the one trinket level, I guess you can say, um, available to you. So, pretty cool. Uh, activate by right clicking the with empty hand. Or bind the key, but um, we really don't need to do that right now. And it is nighttime, and look how far we want just to get here. So let me come back to you once I am about to craft some uh, Tinker's items. So you might be asking, how am I going to power all of these machines? from Thermo and other machines of the future. There's a little known uh, mod called uh, Mechanism, I think. I think you might have heard of them. So we got a metallurgy and metallurgic infuser. And another metallurgic infuser. So eventually we want to have four of these metallurgy infusers. But for the time being, um, first of all, let's see what we got as a reward for getting the mechanism. So we got a steel casing. That really helps a lot. And whatever that... Uh, or whatever that was, an enrichment chamber. So, why would we need an enrichment chamber? Well, one reason um, it makes our resources go a bit further. So, let's see here. So, we need the basic control circuits, which requires osmium in a metallurgy infuser. So. You can see on the right hand or left hand side there is this redstone here, a bar of redstone here, and enriched redstone. So that makes the redstone go further. And well, um, yeah, so that will be something we have to do here. But I want to make a wind generator. So this requires infused alloy. So this requires the same metallurgic infuser with the same redstone, then instead with iron, then some aluminum. So where do I want to put these machines? I want to put them up all the way up here. Then I have this probity here. Say hi, and um, let me know, what do you want to name the crow here? Anyways, there is a hole in the ceiling for the uh, uh, future wind generator and the cables that are going to come down here, okay? To make these cables, I need uh, steel. So how are we going to get steel? We're going to have another metallurgic infuser instead of redstone. There will be coal. So that's why I have the coal here to make uh, some of it into steel. So how do we make steel? In the metallurgic infuser, so let me let me go through the processes here. So in a crusher, you need to get coal dust, I believe. That is what 
we have to do let's see here. Yeah. It's not this. Um think we have to um brush it. Yeah, that's the enriched part carbon plant. Here we go, fall dust. I believe it's with this. Yeah. Wait. Let's see. Steel. Any steel here? Yeah, right here. Steel case. So, right here. Um. Let's see. How do we do this? Steel dust. Yeah, here we go. Um, metal infuser with coal. Um, carbon. You put the carbon or coal, I guess we can say, into here in the metal infuser. Metal infuser. So you put coal. And then iron that makes enriched iron. So, what do we do with this? We we can make reactor glass, which is really much later. So, got this, and then we put it into the same metal confuser. So, enriched iron and carbon slash coal, and then that makes steel dust. Then with this we can smelt it in any way really. In any way. It's all one to one. So there's no difference. Yeah. No difference at all. So, yeah, that is the process to make steel. So well, we'll see how much further we can get into this now. So let's go. Gold and infuse alloy. Let's see. Okay, let's um Yeah, we would need to power this first. That's just kind of weird to do that way. So I guess Very Temporarily we do the sterling dynamo Just to power the Um The memory diffuser So how do we do this? Let's... I think we can just make this right away. Okay, let's go here. Go to this table. And then, uh, Sterling Dynamo. So, that requires any. Let's see here now. Let's do this iron here. I'm not doing all of it because eventually I want to do some or doubling or even tripling. So that requires, come on. Here we go. So I need one more. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. The first machine. Bam. Well, I guess the first machine we made was the metallurgic infuser. Metallurgic infuser. Really have to pronounce that. So, we need three iron to make the second infuser. We need one more. Is that it? Can we do it? No, we need one more. Okay, here we go. We can make this now. Make the second one. Okay. And we got the coal to power the dynamo. Okay. So let's get some redstone. We got some there, but... 
any redstone. Redstone stack. We got stacks and stacks of redstone, so we'll be fine. Let's go up here. Now, one more lower. Can we? No, I'd rather not. I don't want to break it. So let's just put the second one here. Right there. Uh, one more forward, but um, this is good for them. And for them here. It's not filling up because it's powering this. Nice. Oh, redstone. Man, this is not good. I do not use. I do not like using it that way. I definitely don't. But let's do uh, half of this osmium. And then we can get the uh, iron. Okay. There's the fifth one. But that just finished. Now we can make this uh, wind generator. Just passively making power, which is always uh, always a good thing. All we need. Yeah. Then the second one. And then got our yeah. And then we need to make some steel, I believe. Yeah. Steel to make the cabling. Because we need the universal cable here. That requires steel. All right, we got the steel, and we are making these cables as soon as I can click them. Okay, there we go. So let's get these machines up and running. And I already placed the wind generator. But, um, let's craft these machines. From a uh, thermal pulverizer. Bam. And retire the sterling dynamo. Redstone furnace. That requires everything all of a sudden. Well, I guess that makes sense. At that, we should have everything. We did the pulverizer. We did this. We need to get a machine frame. Nice. And then, redstone furnace. We can order double. Let's see, let's see what we, what we get, um, oh, wow, there's some coal. Is this inventory right now? Let's see what we get for this reward. Let's see. We got the book in our main. Okay. Oh, we can make a lot of things. Get a lot of things. 
get some upgrades. I want things, which I don't think we're going to be getting into today, at least. Um, so, uh, Royal Extractor. What is this good for? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, let's get the cables in hand. Then, bam. Damn. Power. And this girl moved. Probably be crawling. Getting nice if you moved. Move. Get out of there. I guess he's living there now. Let's see. Overizer. Redstone furnace. I mean, of course, this is all temporary. Let's see. Maybe it will stay here. I don't know. And this one. So which one is which? This is the coal. This is the redstone. And we also got this enrichment chamber. Which gives us enriched redstone news coal. And in the future, uh, enriched diamond. And enriched obsidian. So let's put this guy... Right here. Bam. Mm -hmm. We gotta go through the machines here. So let's do our first ore doubling. So if you're unfamiliar with how thermal machines work, it pulverizes things, of course. This pulverizer pulverizes things. And then configuration. And then we do auto input. Well, auto input in the future. Let's see. Let's auto output. And then we have to auto input on this. There you go. We officially doubled. And that's thermal. Basic gist of what thermal is. And then we're eventually going to have like hoppers and we, we might not even need hoppers. Like we can just pull it from the front of the machine and then grab over here and this machine is smart enough not to output gravel, I believe. Um, we might just put a barrel here. Hmm. You know what, this is fine. This is, this is good stuff. Cool. And I think that'll be a good wrapping up point to this episode. Next episode, we'll get into more thermal, like the uh, stuff here, the flux bore, and the flux saw, and the flux capacitor. there. So everything flux next episode. And I think we did good today. And we'll get a good shot of this, um, uh, what is it, the, uh, wind, the wind generator. Let's see how good this looks from the outside.
Nice. Better angle from here. Oh, come on, I stopped walking. There you go. That doesn't look too bad. It's going to be a good screenshot. So I hope you had a good time watching me being a derp occasionally, dying a million times, and well, having fun. And there's that up there. It's not the fun of it, but you know what? I think it's okay. To really good progress. In the first episode, we got solar generator on. Wind generator. Hashtag green power. Alright, well. I will be seeing you next time and maybe we'll get into the nether in the next episode as well as all those other things so all right see you guys next time